Lifestyle Europe. And here's your host, Louise Houghton. Hello and welcome to the show, which starts off on the streets of the British capital. Here's what's coming up. Fashion Forward. We check out the latest at London Fashion Week. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of the British rock band Queen. They formed in the 1970s and went on to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with 36 number one album and single releases. Nowadays, tribute bands can be heard imitating their songs, but pianist Natalia Poznova wanted to play them a little differently. She's put a classical twist on these legendary songs and her ideas have given Queen's work a completely new lease on life. You might not first recognize this as a cover of the Queen hit Flash. That's because Natalia Poznova, who's from Russia, has given this classic a new spin. Her version, the pianist hasn't just convinced dedicated Queen fans. The band's guitarist, Brian May, uploaded the video to his homepage. That attracted the attention of Peter Freestone, a close friend of Freddie Mercury. Natalia's version is almost retro, but going back a century or two. But it's, it gives the Queen music a new lease of life, but in a different form. Um, you know, there are Queen cover bands all around the world who do an amazing job, but they sound or try to sound like Queen. What Natalia is doing is giving the music a new input, a new life. Natalia Poznova is actually a classic concert pianist and has toured the world. But a year and a half ago, she had a crisis in her adopted home of Dresden in Germany. She wanted to compose, not just interpret other people's works. And then I remembered one of Freddie's songs. It was one I'd heard as a child, A Winner's Tale. It's a beautiful song. I went onto the internet and Googled it and watched the video on YouTube. And then another one and another one. The music was so beautiful. I absolutely had to do something with it. Natalia says she only wrote down her first Queen adaptions. And she has the rest in her head. Don't Try So Hard is her latest version. It's one of the last songs Freddie Mercury wrote before he died in 1991. This video was shot in the ruins of a Dresden church. The song Don't Try So Hard is different from all the other arrangements. It's very melancholy, very pure, a little simpler. The music is inspired more by Mozart and Chopin than Liszt and Rachmaninoff. Peter Freestone, seen here together with Freddie Mercury, was close to the singer for more than 20 years. Now he wants to work with Natalia Poznova. The two were planning a tour. But it won't just be Natalia sitting at the piano, and it won't just be me standing at one side talking. I mean, there will be interaction. There will be, it will be an evening of entertainment. People will go home, hopefully maybe with a little tear at some point, but a big smile. Freddie Mercury would certainly agree. Well, the duo is certainly following Freddie's lyrics there. The show must go on.